this could be us So back to what I was saying This could be us Hello YouTube, this is Dave from 3 Squad Mining and today I want to cover a topic which I hear a lot of questions about not only on Discord but on the HiveOS forums and uh, private messages from people asking me how I got a particular card to work or how I resolved a particular issue that they were experiencing in Hive um, so I want to really talk about three things one Upgrading HiveOS to the latest revision, which includes the kernel, and this isn't just updating the minor packages within releases, this is actually upgrading the kernel, um, and I'll talk about that in a bit more depth in a moment. Um, two important sudo commands as well, apt update and apt upgrade, and also I'll cover some quick NVIDIA driver installations um, within Hive. Um, so the first thing to do here is just to select one of the machines that uh, or if you only have one that you want to be working on and um, if your machine is local to you um, you can click the IP address here to open shell in a box or alternative you alternatively you can uh, start the shell from up the top here in the remote access area uh, if you're uh, at a distance from the machine. It's uh, aka it isn't on the same network as you are. Um, and specifically the first topic I want to cover here is the kernel version. Um, as of today's date, the 7th of February, uh, the latest revision I believe is 5.10.0 hash 83. And the reason why updating the kernel is important is because there are various different types of support for different types of cards that come with HiveOS kernel updates and those packages that surround it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly open shell in a box and I'm going to log into my mining rig. Um, and so the first thing we're going to do is try to update HiveOS to the latest revision and that includes the kernel. And you can do that by running a simple command hive dash replace minus minus list. And this will just bring up a list of the latest hive revisions, or in fact, uh, hive revisions, the first two revisions at the top there, option number one and option number two are kind of what we'll be focusing on. Uh, option one is the latest stable. I'll always recommend the latest stable version and option number two as you can see is the latest better. Um, it's important before you select either one of these options that you stop mining if you are mining um, and uh, then you can use this command select option number one to install the latest stable version and then hit enter and that's going to go through a few of its paces and it will take anywhere between I don't know, 5 and 20 minutes to install. And then after it's installed, it's going to ask you to restart your rig. And in this case, you can just type in S reboot and hit enter, and that'll restart your rig. Whilst your rig is restarting, uh, you should ensure that you don't have a flight sheet uh, on your rig. So you can go ahead and just unset the current flight sheet while that restarts. That way when your rig does come back up online again, it isn't going to start to automatically mine before you get to those two other points I'd be talking about. Um, so after your rig's restarted, it's not mining anymore. Um, you can go ahead and of course click on your IP address again or go ahead and launch your shell in the box uh, access and um, it will bring you to uh, this screen again. Um, at this point in time, since it's a new kernel installation or it's a new uh, revision of Hive that you've installed, presumably an upgrade from your last version, um, we just want to make sure all of our packages are update. So the command sudo apt and update um, will uh, show you a list of things that can be updated. In fact, I'll do that now. I'll just 
stop my miner. And now that my miner is stopped, I can do the command sudo apt update and hit enter. And it's going to here check uh, what packages can be installed. Now, mine is telling me that two packages can be upgraded here. Um, however, I know that if I run the command to upgrade them, to install them, it's not going to work. And that's because these two particular packages I do not wish to replace. But nonetheless, um, sudo apt upgrade is our next command. And it's going to run through and go ahead and try to install those packages that it's detected can be upgraded um, because I chose not to upgrade these within my settings within my commands earlier uh, it hasn't done that for me zero upgraded zero newly installed zero to remove and two not upgraded but normally for you after a new Hive OS install um, a hive replace with the option number one you're going to have a few of those things and you know that's going to be some uh, repositories maybe it's going to install Firefox for the GUI and a whole range of different things um, whilst we're here we might as well touch on Nvidia drivers if you are running Nvidia drivers um, it's it's um, worthy to note that updating AMD drivers only comes with Hive OS uh, revision releases. So, for example, if you've been running a ton of these old AMD cards um, on, uh, so maybe RX 580s, for example, on uh, a Hive OS version, I don't know, hash 140 or something like this, um, they would be working perfectly fine. But of course, they'd be using old drivers because until you do your Hive um, replace or you reflash Hive onto a hard drive physically or onto a USB stick physically, um, you're not going to be able to, to get those new drivers. They're not downloadable manually like NVIDIA drivers are. So to install NVIDIA drivers, it's the command NVIDIA dash driver dash update dash dash list. And that will list the drivers available to us. Uh, the stable version at the moment is 4.7.10.3.01, as you can see there, running CUDA 11.4. Um, I don't have that revision installed at the moment, just the one slightly before that. Um, and that's because, well, A, I haven't had time to install it. And B, I like 4.70.94 uh, for the moment. Everything seems to be working fine. I might install 4.70.103.01 in another video and compare the two. That's always a lot of fun to do to see if there's any performance gains or stutters or or uh, um, you know any issues with, with the installation. Sometimes, um, not going too deeply into this, but sometimes certain graphics cards work better on different driver revisions. You can find a bit of information about that on um, uh, the hobbyist miners discord you can also find some information about that on on the hive os community forums and a bunch of forums if you search in google for it um, if you don't want to install any new drivers or you've got the latest there control c will get you out of that and now you have the latest version of hive os more importantly the latest kernel version so that all of those new cards that are coming out can be detected probably not the 3050 and 6500 XT because if you're running them you deserve a good slapping I think as a as a miner but nonetheless um, uh, you know the 3060 Ti for example was a really great example of a card that had a problem and back about six months ago the 6600 XT as well uh, when that first came out uh, had a lot of issues if you were running an older kernel version. So this puts a lot of those um, those issues to bed. Um, and yeah, um, you can now apply a, a flight sheet again within the Hive operating system. But if you've already done that, and like me, I had one already there, I can restart my miner uh, and and go ahead. And if I wanted to type miner here, it would show me my my miner running. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, 
thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, if you want to see something on the channel, we are quite new. Um, just doing a few of these uh, faceless videos to begin with uh, before we move into our new location in February. Uh, well, sorry, the end of February, the start of March. And um, yeah, I hope you keep following. Um, please uh, give us a like and, and maybe even subscribe if you'd like. I, I really welcome questions. Um, I really love a tech challenge, uh, especially when it comes to mining. So I hope to hear from you. Uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, have a nice afternoon.